welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss new topic chapter 10 mechanical wave. So in this video we are going to discuss on a progressive wave. Mechanical wave there are two parts. The first part is the progressive wave and the second part is the stationary wave or sometimes we will call it as the standing wave. Okay, so today we are going to discuss on progressive wave only. Okay, so progressive wave is the wave that propagated continuously from a source of disturbance where the equations y is equal to a sine omega t plus minus kx. Okay, where a is the amplitude of the wave and plus minus here give you the directions of the propagations where when it is positive meaning that it is propagate to the left it is the negative value meaning that the wave is propagate to the right okay so next we're going to look at the angular frequency where omega is equal to 2 pi f f equals to 2 pi over omega okay so next we look at the wave constant here okay k equals to 2 pi over the wavelength so therefore wavelength lambda equals to 2 pi over k okay so from here actually we will get the velocity of the wave where v wave is equal to f lambda okay so this is the velocity of the wave Okay, next one we are going to refer here to the v particle okay so meaning that here we have two types of the velocity the first one is v of the wave the second one is v particle so if the questions give us the time meaning that we need to differentiate dy over dt okay so from the equation above we will get a omega cos omega t plus minus kx Okay, if let's say time is given in these questions and also we have another equation V particle where we can write as omega third A square minus Y square. So it depends on what other informations that we have. Exercise 1. A progressive wave is described as Y equals to 2 sine 2 pi t over 0.4 t plus x over 8 t where x and y in cm and also t is in second so if you compare with the equations from the progressive wave where we know that progressive wave equations y equals to a sine omega t plus kx okay so we know that a is actually 2 uh, the amplitude is 2 and since the questions mentioned is in cm, so our amplitude here is equal to 2 cm. Okay, so from the equations given, we know that k is equal to 2 pi over 8t. So k is equal to 2 pi over 8t. Therefore, the wavelength is equal to 8t cm. Okay, c, find the frequency. Okay, so frequency, we know that omega is equal to 2 pi f. And from the equations given, omega is equal to 2 pi over 0 0.4. Okay, so 2 pi and 2 pi we can cancel off. Therefore, the frequency that we will get is equal to 1 over 0 0.4. Okay, or we can write it as 2.5 hertz. Okay, next one we want to find the speed. Okay, so speed here actually they are referring to the speed of wave eh? if let's say the question didn't mention speed of particle meaning that we want to find speed of wave where is equals to v equals to f lambda okay and f is equals to 2.5 lambda is just now we get is equals to t so the value the speed of the wave is equals to 200 cm per second okay okay next one from the wave show in A, determine the maximum value of dy over dt. Okay, so dy over dt here is actually we want to find v particle. Okay, so v particle is 
equals to dy over dt. So we need to differentiate uh, from the equations given. Just now the equation is equals to 2 sine 2 pi t over 0 0.4 plus 2 pi x over 8t. Okay, so if we differentiate, we will get 2 omega where the omega is equal to 2 pi over 0 0.4. We differentiate sine, we will get cos and then we will copy back 2 pi t over 0 0.4 plus 2 pi x over 80 cm. Okay, so when x equals to 0, okay, when x equals to 0, meaning that this one cancel off. Okay, so we want to find the maximum value. Okay, so when x equals to 0, we will get 4 pi over 0 0.4 cos 2 pi t over 0 0.4. So since we want to find the maxima, meaning that the cost, this value here must equal to 1. Okay? So therefore, V particle, the maximum V that we will get is equals to 4 pi over 0 0.4. Or we can write it as 10 pi cm per second. Question number 2. The graph above shows in figure is the displacement of the particle in a transverse progressive wave against the distance from the source of the particle instant. Okay, so A, write down the points where the speed of the particle is zero. Okay, so we know that this is Y versus T. So if you want to find the positions where the speed of the particle is equal to zero, it's better we sketch. Huh? Okay, so from Y versus T, actually we know that this is an assigned graph. Okay, so if you want to plot V versus T, if we differentiate sine, we will get cos graph. So we know that V versus T graph, we will get a cos graph. So this is a cos graph where for one complete cycle is equal to 0 0.8. Okay, so this will be 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.2. This is 1.0 and also 1.2. Okay, so I try to label it up. Okay, meaning that P is at 0 0.2, Q is at 0 0.4, R is at 0 0.6, S is at 0 0.8, and also T is at 0 0.2. Okay, so we want to find V is equal to 0. V is equal to 0 from this graph, actually very clear that we know that it's at point P and also R. Okay, B, write down all the points where the acceleration of the particle is maximum. So we need to differentiate nah, from a sine graph. Okay, if we differentiate sine graph, if we differentiate V, we will get cos. Okay, so if we differentiate cos, we will get negative sine. So this is A versus T where we will get a negative sine graph. Okay, so this is 0 0.8, again 0 0.4. 0 0.6, 0 0.2, 1, and also 1.2. And this is P, Q, R, S, and T is at 1.2. Okay, so we need to find at which point we will get A is maximum. The answer is actually P and also R where we will get acceleration is maximum okay c write down the point where the velocity of the particle is in opposite to each other okay so it's actually very clear uh, p and q actually is zero so the opposite point is q and s or s and t so we have two answer either q and s or t and s okay so we have two pair with opposite direction okay next one write down the point where the particle are in phase okay so when the particle are in phase meaning that they are in the same direction okay so very clear here q and also t are in the same direction meaning that they are in phase okay so the answer here is actually q and also t are in same direction okay state the amplitude and the wave length of the wave so from the graph here we want to find the amplitude and also the wavelength from the graph here we know that the amplitude here is equal to 
10 millimeter. So the wavelength here for one complete oscillation is actually 0 0.8. Okay, so this is the wavelength. So the answer here for the MPQ A is equal to 10 millimeter and wavelength is equal to 0 0.8 in cm. Okay, next one. If the time required to complete one cycle is given 0.25, meaning that this is the period, what is the speed of the wave? So V for the wave is equal to F lambda and frequency is equal to 1 over T times the wavelength. So 1 over period 0.25 times the wavelength 0.8 in cm. Okay, so the answer here we can write it as 3.2 cm per second or is equal to 0.032 meter per second. Okay, that's all for chapter 10.1 part A. Please watch the next video for the second part. Thank you. See you on next video. Bye.